The roof's fell in there, you know. Look at that. Well, I said this is the old doctor's house. God. Look at the roof. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't want to stand underneath there. God. This is quite mad. Yeah, this is the old doctor's house. Someone's had loads of sweets. It's proper dark, isn't it, this? You hear that owl? There's a chair in here. Why would you, get, why would you have a chair in here? <laughs> hey Mark, look at these windows. Look at them. The nail down. Because all them nails in there. This was a right, let's try and sort the of torch out. Yeah, so tonight we're gonna try first attempt ever. Some paranormal. We brought some gadgets with us and we're gonna see if it's true. Yeah, if there's anything to this. Is there any believers out there? Look at a little window there. A little window there. You can see that. Someone's phone, or my phone. Should we go to that room there? Oh, God, this, this floor. Wow. Oh, God. It's quiet. I just hope none of these roofs fall in. I mean, they look like concrete slabs. I mean, there was a second floor to this, look. You can see up there. Just about. You can hear the electricity from the pole. Is that what it is? Yeah. It's random autica come to fucking girls. Again. So. So we're just going to set up and we'll, uh, we'll come back to you. So I don't like this, it's creepy man. And it, it's proper creepy. It's not normal. I mean, and it's cold. It's really cold. Very cold. Okay, we'll, we'll be back in a minute, we're just going to set up. So there's another room, so I don't know what this is for. God. I'll tell you what. I looked out the window and someone looked in. I'd, I'd, I'd probably just drop this lot and run. 
<laughs> right, let's try it again. Let's just try. Let's try again. I'm not a point nine, but that could be me. Is there anybody here? There's a balloon on the tree there. Oh, you heard somebody? Yeah, yeah. Just talking? Yeah, yeah. Just two normal people. Normal. <laughs> Lady Scott, are you here? Do you want to make yourself known? We're not getting enough off the Mesa, so... Does anybody want to make itself known? Light up the meter? Just show us a sign. Look at a paint pill. Did you like living here? Was it a nice place to live? Nature's taking over. It's just pulling it back in it. I mean, this, I bet this used to be a really nice place, and now everything's just taken over. That's a shadow of the torch. I was moving the torch, and I thought, oh, "What's that through the tree?" I'll tell you what. I don't think we're designed for this. No. Are we? It always sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Let's have a look. It's so secluded as well. It's on 0 0.9. It's not sort of moving. Lady Scott, did you miss your horse? Do you miss your horse now? You buried it in the grounds with your own headstone, so you must have really liked it. Do you miss it? Do you wish you could ride it again? I don't think we're getting nothing off that. I think sometimes they don't always make themselves present, do they? Well, we know they could be stood next to us. Oh. oh. Yeah, could be. Or well, they could be down there watching us, thinking, what are they doing? Who are they? Well, why don't you come to us? Come in this room. Come and make yourself present in this room. Just light up our machine, so we know you're here. I don't know who the doctor was, who lived here. 
Because they used to own all the land, you see, the Scott family. They used to own the big manor down, further down. I mean, we'll probably have to probably go there another day or something because it's yeah. quite a big place. And this was the doctor's. I know if we go to the the main one down further down. Should we go there? Okay. Right. All right. We're going to go further down. We're going to go to the asylum and check that out. So we'll catch you in a bit. See, look at the. See the look at the entrance. Look at the concrete pillars. There'd have been a gate, wouldn't there? Yeah, I mean they would have been massive. I mean, imagine in the old days. This place.